Good evening and welcome to KTN Friday Briefing tonight, the 14th of August 2015. My name is Fayaz Qureshi. It's been 10 years since I last did this, but I'm glad to be here for what is arguably the most comprehensive news bulletin on a Friday in Kenya. KTN Friday Briefing begins now. We begin with the latest standoff between Jubilee government and the opposition in Kenya. Now the Deputy President, William Ruto, today led Jubilee leaders in a fierce defense of the controversial sugar deal signed with Uganda. The sugar politics has gone full circle with the government now claiming those opposed to the Uganda sugar importation deal are only out to protect sugar cartels. KTN senior political reporter Sam Ogina reports. The Jubilee administration is finding the test of Western Kenyan politics not quite sugary, just a few weeks after making inroads in the region to sweeten things up. The Kenya-Uganda agreement that Uganda can import sugar in the country has left a bitter test in the mouths of many Sugar Belt region parliamentarians. <laughs> Kumbe agreement ile tulikuwa tunasema iko kumbe ni agreement nzuri ya kutetea sisi taking cognizance of the precarious situation jubilee find itself in the administration is on a fire fighting mission jubilee leaders have turned tables directing the heat to the opposition accusing it of hiding and protecting sugar barons who are ruining the industry in the western region when the sugar industry was going down they never even bothered to help the people they purport to be talking for, which is very unfortunate. Who destroyed Mumias? Isn't it people well known to code that do belong to that party? Jubilee taking the war on sugar right to the source, touring Bungoma and Busia counties, some of the sugar belt regions. The leaders punched holes at those opposed to the importation of the Ugandan sugar, claiming they shielded sugar barons who ran down Mumias sugar. Wakati mumia shuka iliangushwa Iliangushwa na watu ambao wamezaliwa kwa inji hii Watu ambao walikuwa nasimamia kwa inji hii Watu ambao waliombea kura pesa ya mumia shuka Wale wenye walikula mumia shuka Sini wale walifukusa kaluwale mbaka cho Western Kenya parliamentarians snubbed the state house meeting on Thursday claiming the importation deal needs to be made public and government was putting the record straight even as it sought to pin down code leader on the sugar industry crisis. When the president gives you an opportunity to explain the problems of your people, you should be very grateful. The collapse of the industries haikuwaza na huu inaanza wakati wa serikali ya nusumkati. Wewe ukua prime minister. Kama kuna sukari itatoka Uganda, itakuwa sukari ambayo ni ya kampuni ni ya wakulima wa Uganda. Sio ya kwamba ati wanatoa sukari mali ingine, wanaweka mifugo ya kampuni sa Uganda, wanazileta hapa. That one you will not accept. Just last month, government pumped 1 billion shillings to revive ailing Mumia's sugar company. But with the latest developments, leaders from Western Kenya have discussed.